Hello everyone, my name is Lana and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about finding a most likely common ancestor of a set of homologous DNA strands using Python. If you still haven't, make sure to subscribe to support my channel. So let's get started. So what exactly is a common ancestor? Common ancestor of a set of organism is the most recent individual from which all the organisms of a given set have descended. So if we have several homologous DNA strands, and here homologous means that the organism descended from a common ancestor, we can find an average case DNA strand which represents the most likely common ancestor of given strands, and we call that strand a consensus sequence. We can get this consensus sequence from what is called a profile matrix. And profile matrix of a collection of DNA strands of the same length is 4 times n matrix, where n is the length of a string. Each row of profile matrix represents one nucleotide, and columns define a number of times that nucleotide has been seen at the yod position of DNA strands. Let's check now how a profile matrix looks like for a collection of these DNA strings. Remember, profile matrix is 4 times n matrix, where each row represents a single nucleotide. First row represents A, second C, third G, and fourth D. And each column in a profile matrix represents number of times each of nucleotide has been seen at that position. So first column, how many times has it been seen at the first position? Second column, how, how many times has it been seen on the second position? And so on. So if we check the first row or position, we are going to check how many times A has been at, seen at the first position of all of the DNA strings here from this collection. So we see that A has been seen once, twice, three times, four times, fifth five times. So that's why we have for uh, nucleotide A five times at the position 1. C, we see that we don't have it, so that's why 0. G, we have it once, and T, we have it once. And we do that for each column here and check each column here to give, get this number for a profile matrix. Now that we understand what a profile matrix is, we can move to the question on how to get consensus sequence from a calculated profile matrix. And this is pretty simple. We only need to take nucleotide that occurs most often at each position to form a consensus sequence. So in our case, how we get the consensus sequence is that we go column by column, and at each column we take the nucleotide that occurs mo most often. And in the first case, that is going to be A. In the second column, that's going to be T. In the third column, it's going to be G. In the fourth column, it's going to be C, and so on. This gives us the final consensus sequence AT, GC, AA, CT. Let's move now to the implementation of profile matrix and consensus sequence in Python. First, we will define all our DNA strands as sequence variable and variable n with value 8 because all of our DNA strands have the same size which is 8. We will then define our profile matrix with all rows and columns needed. So it's going to have 4 rows for each nucleotide and 8 columns with initial values set to 0. Then we are going to loop through all of our DNA strands and add to the count of a profile matrix each time we see a nucleotide at a given position. This will in the end give us our profile matrix. Now that we were able to calculate profile matrix, we can get the consensus sequence out of it. The implementation is a bit harder than theory, but the idea is for each position, compare all counts and take the nucleotide with maximum occurrence. And we do that for each column. So for each position, we're gonna keep a track of the maximum count and nucleotide with the maximum count. So we go nucleotide by nucleotide and we check a count of each nucleotide. So for position 1, column 1, for nucleotide A we have 5, for nucleotide C we have 0, for nucleotide G we have 1, and for nucleotide T we have 1 as well. So we will see that the maximum count is 5 and that is the highest here. So in the end what is going to be the nucleotide with the maximum count is A. And we will do that column by column. In the end, we are going to save all these results in an array 
and join them using a join command to give us our consens consensus sequence. That was it for today's video. Let me know in the comments below what would you like to see next. And just to remind you, make sure to subscribe if you still haven't to support my channel. Until the next time, bye bye!